<clears throat> Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together today and enjoy the comedy of the Mohammedan. You know, we uh, uh, as a Christians, uh, we come here for knowledge and some they come for entertainment and some I get upset because people are coming to love you know but I cannot blame people for laughing at Islam even though I'm coming here for a serious purpose but Islam is very lovable and what make Islam more lovable is the Muslims many years ago maybe some of you you were not even born yet I was making uh, you know speeches videos about how Islam lie about so-called the Quranic scientific miracle and there's millions of articles videos Muslim they spend a lot of money they even hire Western people to promote the scientific miracles of the Quran if we type right now such a title in the in, in YouTube you will find endless numbers of a uh, topic and then when a Muslim call us either he leave Islam or he became a joke or he's trying to defend the joke and he become a mockery of him his own self when I wrote my books my first two books, The Deception of Allah and Quran and Science and Depth, 13 years ago. They were the first books ever wrote about such a topic. And the Muslims, they start flagging my videos, sorry, my books in Amazon. Because obviously they don't want to people to see how big their fat lie not only the Quran is far away from science it is the opposite it is the book of errors but today we are going to focus on something more let's say more important and we will mix it with two topics the scientific miracle of the Quran and for sure we will not find somebody more lovable than Lili Dawa peace be upon her and he have a new boyfriend now not Mimi Hijab his name is Andrew Tate Andrew Tate is causing a lot of problems for the Muhammadan. A lot of problems. Andrew Tate, he have his own understanding of God. And the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. And the more he do poo poo, his girlfriend Lily Dawa, she had to defend. But for how long? So here Lily Dawa is talking about the title of his video Does Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate's believe Allah is just a concept. So now, Lily Dawa, peace be upon her, she become the one who defend what happening with Andrew Tate's brother sisters. Come on, go, Lily. He may be staying in Islam for the right reasons. How? I, one of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. And now we know that this whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense, not to in total, <laughs> but guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave this? Here you see the number one lie. This guy is born of a Muslim family. His mother is a Muslim. His father is a Muslim. His grandfather is a Muslim and they are Kurdish. And now he is lying in front of everybody. The one who led me into Islam. Is it your prophet? He says everyone is born as a Muslim. And then his parents, they will make him a Muslim or not. So are you saying your parents were a kuffar? Or are you saying your prophet was lying? You, you, you convert to Islam because of science? Why? Since when you converted? What happened? You call Andrew Tates and he showed you scientific miracle? So now here, this is really... Uh, in like delivering big poo, poo claiming that she was not a Muslim and she converted into Islam because of the scientific miracle but she just said that scientific miracle is debunked so your conversion to Islam is debunked too 
I mean, do you see the stupidity? How you say you converted to Islam because of scientific miracles, which means the reason for your conversion is false. You just said that those miracles, they are debunked. Not only that, after he said the sentence, a lot of Muslims start giving him a finger. Sometimes finger in his nose, sometimes a finger in his, uh, <clears throat> in his eyes, you know, a lot of fingers. So this guy, he decided to fix it in second video. As if they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again, very carefully. Some people, they thought he made a slip of a tongue. And now look how angry she is. What's happened to you? Why you are attacking me? Why Muslims are so upset from me? Why? He really, was that a slip of a tongue? By the way, her tongue slipped everywhere. Tell them it's not a slip of a tongue. Tell them what it is. For some odd reason, funnily enough, like as if they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again, very carefully. The scientific miracles argument. I like it when you give fingers to the Muslims. How many fingers do you give them? Four. Why four, you either? Shouldn't you give one only? If they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again, very carefully. The scientific miracles argument in the Quran got debunked. No way. Got debunked? You bunk? What? Hold on. I will go back to the previous video. Continue here. Understand when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed but rather say you have submitted. They Did you see? Did you see how stupid he is? He just announced that Andrew Tits, he don't believe. He is the same as the Bedouin. Allah said to the Bedouin, don't say we believe, rather you should say we surrender to Islam, not submitted. There's the word submitted does not exist in Islam. That's a big fat lie. Islam means to surrender in a war surrender way. Aslam Taslam. Surrender, you will be safe, will not kill you. So look at look at his fingers. Look, you know, so so smart. I mean, you know, uh, you know them from their faces. Look at this. I mean, genius. Especially with the glasses, man. I think you see things bigger now. This is why you found out that Islam Quranic miracle is debunked. So now he is saying that Andrew Tits, he don't convert to Islam. He just submitted according to, I'm just quoting him. He did not believe in Islam. Don't say we believe. Say it again. Because we are not fast like the Muhammadan. You know, they are fast in everything, including orgasm. Yeah, this is why they are number one nation in the world buying Viagra. And for the right reasons. How? I One of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. And... Now we know that he is being honest with you, people. What's wrong with you, Sheikh Omad? What's wrong with you, man? Clearly, he is being honest with us for the first time in his life. It is time. I want to be honest with you. This is a statement of somebody scamming people 24 hours, and now he's trying to convince us that he is not a scamming again. So he said, I want to be honest with you. Why you were not honest five minutes ago? <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Sorry for interrupting your scam. This whole science of miracles was absolute nonsense. Not to in total. Not in total, like 99 point. We are proud of it. Not in like with that. What? What do you mean not in total? <laughs> Continue. But guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. Allah led you to Islam. Or the one who made scientific miracle lie. Choose one. You just said the scientific miracle debunked, which means it's a lie. So you are saying to us now that Allah is a lie, and the lie of Allah led you into Islam. So Islam led people into Allah, He led people into Islam by a lie. That is a great sign about I want to be honest with you. Your God, He led you into Islam by a lie. That's deep. That's deep.
Scooby Scooby Doo, go ahead. And guess what? Did I leave this down when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed, but rather say you have submitted. <laughs> There's no believer in this garbage religion. They just surrender. <laughs> Andrew Tetz, he heard that they are going to arrest him very soon. So he was thinking where I'm going to escape, which Islamic country I will seek asylum and they will not deliver me to the European countries. That's the whole idea of his conversion. All of us, we knew that this guy is a fraud. He's a pimp. He don't care for God. He don't care for anything. He is a person who sleeps, sex, drugs. He sell drugs. He even says that in his video. And he have 75 women working for him only. Which means he did beat Allah. Allah have 72. He overcome Allah with his webcam business. So this guy he heard, all of us we knew, that he have his uh, uh, manager, the whore, she worked with him. Uh, she was an ex-police officer. And all of us we knew that he himself, he said that. And even he said that the bodyguard he have, they are ex-Romanian police. So they have a lot of friends in the police. They told him, they are coming after you. There is a lot of cases building up. Get ready. So this guy, as usual, or con man, you know, the con man, they always find a place where they will run after they got caught because they will get caught. It doesn't matter how long your con will, will, will live. Time will come and you will get caught. This is why he said he have six passport. Do you know why somebody want to buy six passport? Why you want to buy a six passport? Because he is looking for a place to run to. That's the whole story. And then he said to himself, you know what? I convert to Islam. Obviously, he heard the story of Zakir, the, the Quran and Yuka. You know, he was wanted in India. He went to militia. And there they give him, they grant him asylum. And they will not deliver him. Why? Because he's a Muslim like them. So, okay, I will convert to Islam. And those four, they will believe me. And I will use them. And this is the whole story. And now this guy is confirming what I am saying. And rotates, he never converted to Islam. And rotate, he submitted. So he can return, get a return of the conversion. A place of safety and security in case his con business is exposed. That's the whole idea. So now this guy is confirming that and saying this guy, Andrew Tetz, he never converted to Islam. He never believed in Islam. This is why he don't, you know, his, his idea of God is nothing to do with our God. Has nothing to do with our God. And then you will see this guy, he himself, he used to argue about scientific miracle of the Quran. They were Bedouin Arabs and Allah says, because Iman hasn't entered your heart. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? It says, the Bedouins say, we have believed. Say, you have not yet believed, but rather say, we have submitted. For, for faith has not entered your heart. If you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds of anything. So, which is very clear, meaning faith hasn't come into your heart yet. So how they enter Islam, uh, Abdul? As long faith never entered their heart. So what entered their heart? And as long as you are saying to me that you are the same as those Bedouin. So are you saying to us that you are a Bedouin who is a Kurdish, who faith never entered your heart and you converted to Islam because you are a fool? Why anyone want to convert to Islam if faith never entered his heart? Hmm? Uthman Farooq, he called me out in his video today. He's a potato, the son of Muta. If he is a man, let him call me. Is that the guy who says uh, Muhammad is not Abrahamic? <laughs> is that the guy who put ketchup in his uh, T-shirt? If he want to call me out, he can call me here. And I'm, I'm live. Those are a bunch of kids. They are coward. He will be trembling. Trust me. If those Muslims, they knew for a second that they can make any argument with me, they will be lined up to call me. Did you ask yourself why Mimi Hijab, he was trembling? He brought seven Muslims with him. They put the computer far away from my microphone so nobody would hear me. 
and he did not let me even ask one question. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Did you say that? Hang up on him. They are coward, they are intimidated, and they are sons of muta. And the man of them is the one who called me. Actually, Muslim women are more manly, those men. None of them dare to call me. They make a show. Hey, Christian Prince is running away from me. I'm here. Okay, give me your Skype. I will call you right now. Anytime, any Muhammadan, any son of a muta, he says to you, Christian Prince is running away from me. Tell him, give me your Skype. Record him if he is in front of you. Record him by the camera. He says, be a man. Huh? Be a man and tell us what is your Skype. Here we go. We are recording. And then if a Christian prince did not call you, that means he is a coward. Is that fair? Is that fair? Otherwise, where I'm going to debate them, those people? I'm here. I will call them. Don't call me. Anytime. Any potato, he claimed that he can debate me. Yeah, Mr. Uthman, the footnote, the one who find the Messiah. There is many Messiah. There is many Messiah in Islam. Every Muslim is laughing at him. I don't want to change my topic, but you can search for Uthman, the one who have a master degree in Islam, yet he cannot recite the Quran, and he add Quran words to the Quran. Muslims, <laughs> this is not the Christians making making videos about him. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Muslim Education Academy, a new uh, new Uthman. Ibn Farouk struggled to recite the Quran correctly. <laughs> and he called himself Sheikh. <laughs> this is other Muslim channel. Salaf uh, Uthman Ibn Farouk, what a joke. Uh, Uthman Ibn Farouk do not even know how to read the Quran. I mean, it's a drama. This is their videos. Oh, there's a miracle of the Quran in this channel too. <laughs> Actually, there's a video of him. They are like he is making 100 mistake. Uh, they just they they made just a video of 100 mistake only, only not like 2,000 or yes, this is just a kid. Anyway. Uh, What is the video? I'm trying to find it. There's no connection or internet connection. What happened? Hold on. Learn, learn Quranic uh, Arabic from Uthman ibn <laughs> He wanna learn, he wanna teach people Quran, Quran Arabic. <laughs> hey, Ibn Farouk. Listen, potato. What about me and you debating Arabic? As long as you want to teach people Arabic, what do you think, guys? Huh? What about we debating Arabic? Huh? Ah, potato. Anyway, so those are a bunch of kids, and Lady Dawa, actually my favorite kid, Mimi Hijab, is uh, you know is 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 busy now, uh, selling the Nagla seed. But uh, me, uh, Lily, she is selling something different each time they make a video. They cannot, they cannot even. Hold on, this is a Muslim queer video. No, we don't want to see that now. Queer and Muslim, nothing is to con to reconcile. What a brave look! She is conservative. We have to be honest here. She is a queer Muslim. Anyway. And this is another queer Muslim. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, the jewelry start coming. Uh huh, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, and Lily Hijab is another uh, queer Muslim too. I mean, what they are showing up in my way. I was searching for Lily Hijab. Like, what the heck? Where is the video of Lily Hijab? Not this one. Come on, this is other queer. This is different queer. What the? Oh boy. What is that? The, the, this is the bigger queer. 
Uh, okay, hold on. We go back here. If you go to the beginning of any Islamic video, in the beginning, they are selling something. All of them. By this, brothers and sisters, if you eat it, you will be very healthy. It's good for your Viagra. It's, mashallah, Prophet Muhammad used to use it three times a day. This is why he never had kids. Mimi Hijab, when he start, he have a little uh, tiny thing in his hand. The Nagla seed, brothers and sisters, if you want to order the Nagla seed, the Prophet Muhammad said Nagla seed is have, a, have the healing and the cure for every disease. What about mental disease, Abdul? You know, I mean, and as long as this uh, Nagla seed have a cure for everything, why you Muslim could take your uh, family to hospitals, you give them vaccine, etc. Let's see, we have a Muslim trying to call me. Let's try to call him. Uh... His name is Walid. Let us see if he is serious. <laughs> answer, answer, Walid, answer. I'm calling you. Walid Sheikh. Answer. Hmm. Are you playing games? You don't want to answer? I will block you. If this is what you want, I will block you. Don't act like a kid. So I will give you one more chance. Let us see another Muslim. Uh, all right, I'm saying computer says, okay, I'm not saying I am a Muslim, but I mean, Need to talk to you and watch your video. Okay. All right. So we have only one Muslim. Let us see this one. Uh, no. No. Please, only Muslim, you know, you call me. Only Muslim, you try to call me. Text me. Don't call me. Text me first. Oh, we have a Muslim here. His name is Jay Ravel. He's saying to me, are you running? Hey, man. I am the fastest person in running in the world. But the second I call them, they don't answer. Let us see. I'm calling this guy. He said to me, are, are, are you running? Are you running? <laughs> I mute the microphone so it doesn't bother you. I mean, the, the ring. Answer, Mr. Running. I mean, what's wrong with those people? We call them, they said to, you, to me, are you running? We call them, they never answer. Are you running? Here we go, this is Walid. Let us call Mr. Walid. Huh. Let us see if he will answer. <laughs> hey Walid, how are you there? I am there. You are there. You are there. You are there. Yes, yes, yes. You are there. Yes, yes, okay. I am here. So, what do you think about uh, what uh, uh, Ali Dawa said that Quran science is debunked? Quran science is debunked. He said he's, what are you he's, talking about? He said the Quranic science is debunked. Didn't you hear the video? I'm live. Yes, yes, I am hearing your video. Okay, so you were saying about Sheikh Usman and blah blah. blah. No, no, I was talking yes. the topic, the topic. Sheikh Usman is nobody anyway. But I'm asking you yes. now, what do you think about what uh, Lida was said that uh, Quranic science first, is debunked? First, first of all, first of all, what you want to debunk of Quran? I do not need to debunk the Quran. Did that would debunk everything? He said that all scientific oh, miracle a, in the Quran. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a, wait a minute! He is a mufti. Uh, are you a mufti? No, no, he is a mufti. I'm the sheikh. You are a sheikh? Yeah. You are a real sheikh? Yeah. I don't believe you. Do you have a beer? Oh, uh, you can video call me. No, honestly, do you have, are you a sheikh? Really, are you a sheikh? Yes. Okay, what you... What, which, I'm in sheikh. Which more... Which, I'm in sheikh. You are what? And I'm in sheikh. I am the sheikh. But how come you are a sheikh but you don't know how Arabic? Oh, you are the Arabic master, huh? Well, you just said to me something I did not understand. You are trying to speak Arabic, but you are struggling. What you said to me in Arabic? Go no, ahead. No, no, no. Uh... What the heck is that? Okay, okay. Kalam okay. bilarbi. Kalam bilarbi. 
يو ذيس نوت ذيس نوت ان عرب وات از ذات كلام بالعربي كلام بالعربي وات از ذات اوكي ليسن 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 اوكي ليسن 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 يو ليسن دونت كات ماي ووردز اها يو وان تايم يو سي اها ذات يو محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وات از ذات مين وات از ذات مين Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I don't speak Arabic. I tell me what does that mean? Sallallahu what? What does that mean? Peace be upon him. You don't know an Arabic. Well, you claim you know Arabic, but salla mean pray. Not ma does not mean salla peace. Salla means blessed. No, salla no. Means salla mean salla mean pray. Salla salla mean a prayer. So st stop proclaiming. Even stop even Muhammad prayer. Hijab, he said he pray for Allah. He pray for not two. No, so no, Allah no, he pray. No 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 mm. no 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 no. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali. Okay, okay, Muhammad hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay, hold on. So, who is praying on Muhammad? You, you, wait, wait, wait a minute. Who wait is praying minute. on Muhammad? What is the translation of this? What? Who is praying on Muhammad? Who is the prayer of Muhammad? Who is praying? Muhammad is blessed. By who? The prayer. By who? Muhammad is blessed. Where, where is that in the Quran? It says he is blessed. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, you don't know Quran. إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي. exactly. يا أيها الذين آمنوا. okay. So, uh, trans translate. translate. Huh? translate. indeed. Uh. Allah send his blessings upon Where is Muhammad. okay. you know what? I will, I will go with your fast translation. saying sending the blessing. and does it say Allah and the angels or Allah only? Allah and the angels. so how the angels they can bless anyone? Angels can bless. No. You can bless. No. You oh, see, you see, you Muslims. You see, so you Muslims, you say, you Muslims are kuffar. You Muslims are kuffar. No, 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 no. You just Muslims confirm. Everybody heard you. Everybody, oh, everybody, minute, everybody heard wait, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A second, a second. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. So angels and Allah, both of them, they can do the same equal thing. What according to you? Is salah mean a blessing, which is false, but I will go with it. So if Allah is a God and the angels, they can do the same thing. And everybody heard you. They do the same thing. You yeah. said they do the same yeah, thing. They, they said the blessing. They so, can do the but same. angels God. cannot bless anyone. Angels wait, cannot wait. bless unless they are the wait, source wait, of a blessing. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll explain, I'll explain you. Uh, explain to me. Explain. Are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. You want, you want water? No, no. Do you want ketchup? Water? You want ketchup? You want potato? Okay, go ahead. So, so, so you, Mushrik, you, you believe that Allah and the angels they send the blessing. Go ahead. Indeed. How Indeed. they can do that? How they can do that? How, how can do that? Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. you claim Father mm -hmm. and Jesus are one. And Indeed. and yes. Is the angels Allah Father and, and is, your human God? Is Jesus Allah is Allah and one. the angels is one? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why well, you are changing topic? Is Allah and the angels are they no, 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 are they one? I am not changing topic. Oh, okay. I am my topic is relative from that. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Jesus and Father are one. Hmm. And isn't it? Yeah. So if God can bless, then the human God of you, Jesus, can bless. But hey, you know, my God. No, no, hold on, hold on. Human God okay, oh, just 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 to show you how silly you are. Doesn't matter if he's no, a human God or not a human, he's no, God. No. So he's God. God, he can bless only, and you are being silly again because you just said God yourself. You just said. 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 Jesus, the human God, bless you. Indeed. He's God, so he's God. So if he come to us in a form of a human God, of a, human God. Okay, you don't know okay. Where he's resurrected, listen, listen. Where is he it? But is it? Don't, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't. You are Jesus you are running man. like a rabbit, and you are breathing heavily. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy. So no, now, no, 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 so no, listen, listen. Breathing. We I'm will go to Jesus after you tell me how the angels they can do blessing the same as Allah. Is angels no, no. are they the Indeed. one who bless people or Indeed. God? My father can bless me. My father can bless. No, he me. cannot. No, 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 he cannot. Your your father he asked God to bless you. He cannot bless you. You are no, a stupid. No, no. You are not father a sheikh. No, he cannot. Can okay, show me the source from the Quran. Show me the source from the Quran or the Hadith. Oh, the Hadith. Or the Hadith. Just, hmm. just see. Relax, relax. There is. Are you running? Many, many Hadiths are there. Oh, okay. That the father can bless. Oh, okay. Mother can bless. No. Mother have the mother have 
my paradise lies in the mother's feet. Mm. Many hadiths are there. Okay, you, but, you see, you see, you see, you are just, you are just a false sheikh. What your prophet he says that the heaven is under the feet of mothers. This is if you are good to them, but they are not the one who will take you to heaven. You are stupid again. I'm asking no, you, no, 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 how, no, 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 no. where in the you Quran and where wait, in the wait, Hadith wait, wait, it says wait, wait, wait. that the blessing is yeah, coming yes. from a man? Blessing is coming from a man, regardless if it's a woman, indeed, your mother or father. Indeed, indeed. If you are human, okay, God show me. Can bless. My human, my God human, is my human God is need, God, need, and He is the Creator. He is the Creator. Need to do everything. Listen, no, 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 that, that's a lie. Show me where He need to pee. I show you God. He need to pee. Do you, do you know that your Allah is created from the sweat of horses, which is nothing but a form of a pee? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that correct? Half of this. Where is it? Okay. Where is it? If I show it to you, what, what you will do? Which which Sabi? Huh? Which Sabi said that? You, you are hadith. You know the okay. changes. Uh, I, I will put it. Uh, I will put it for you in the screen. You read it and you translate. Is that fair? Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a oh, minute. All right. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me put it for you in the screen, and then you read it for everybody, and everybody would love your Arabic. <coughs> Let me wait for you. That's not a hadith. It is a hadith. That's not. Do you know what even? Do you know who, even what a hadith did, mean? Do you know what hadith mean? Is, do you know? Do you know what a hadith who, mean? Who did mention? Do you know? Do you know who, what hadith? Who is the rabbi? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what? Ibn uh, oh, Hold on, hold on. Ibn Asakir. Ibn Asakir. Ibn Asakir. Ibn Asakir. Al Hafiz. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm reading. Ibn Asak is not a Sahabi. He is a story narrator. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hold on, hold on. Guys, he is a story narrator. So read for me. Read for me. Okay, you must name. You don't like this hadith, and you say this is this is we reject this hadith. No problem. But does it say? Does it say in your? Does it say in your books? Does it say? Does it say? So am I lying or not? Does it say that when Allah decided to create Himself, He He made the, according to your read it. Okay, read it. It's wonderful. Read it. It's, 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 in a, it's in the front of you. Read. Abdul, Abdul. No, no, I don't have taqiyah. No, in my Bible, no, no. It's in your Quran, chapter 3, verse number 28. You, you can lie even to your wife. The man can lie to her husband. The, 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 the Muslim man, he can lie to his husband because they are all of uh, Listen, listen. So now answer. Am I, am I showing you, am I showing you the reference? Am I showing you the reference or not in the screen? What? Do you see the what? What happened to you? Are you dying? Do you see the reference in the screen? No, 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 no. You are dying, Mr. Potato. Okay, so well, let's see who's the potato. You are breathing heavily, hardly you can breathe, and you cannot no, breathe. What I'm saying. I'm walking, okay, I'm walking. so now, Take no, easy. you are not walking. Okay, you. sit down, sit down. You, I know you don't dare to to talk to me when you are sitting. It's okay, but I will allow you. Sit down no, and no, talk. No, no. You are not walking. You are no, no, you are terrified. No, no. Read for me the reference I show you in the screen. Read for me. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say that Allah, when He decided to create Himself, He made the horses run and He made them sweat and He created Himself from the sweat of horses? Yes or no? It's in the front of you on the screen. You claim to be a sheikh. You claim to be a sheikh, and you claim you you claim you claim to be sheikh. You claim to be a sheikh, and it doesn't matter. So you are saying to me now, okay? So you know you are saying to me. Uh, I, I said to you, Ibn Affan, Ibn Kachab boy. He said, he said he's not a mufti. I said, Lili, Lili uh, hijabs, Lili uh, uh, Dawa said he said not a mufti. I said to you, who you are? You said I am a sheikh. Now I say to you, as long you are a sheikh, how come you never heard this before? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, just... How come you are a sheikh, a but you never heard this before? For two seconds. Did you hear this before wait or not? Did you hear this before or not, this hadith? No, wait a minute, it's not a hadith. What kind of a sheikh you are, and you never heard it before? Where it is? In this Sahih Muslim? You don't even know where it is, you stupid. I just told you, Ibn Asakir, you said to me, Sahih Muslim, and you claim to be sheikh? You claim to be a sheikh? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, just hold it on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, are you going to use Google Translation? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just going to do your screen. Uh, screen, yeah. <laughs> I, I have to open the hmm. other. So the conclusion...
at least some of you must then believe no, 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 it's not adit it's not adit it's not adit you don't can easily go away it's not adit so what it is what it is what it is it's a it's a quoting of israeliat ah the jews they said that the jews the jews his name no 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 the, no, no, no it's the, a book of ibn al-isaq where do you where do you come from the ah the ibn al-isaq that is from but that book all the sahih al-bukhari and a muslim coming from ibn al-isaq anyway are you stupid or what al-bukhari uh, listen 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 okay you know so are you saying to me you accept only al-bukhari and sahih muslim i can, I, I cannot. Okay, here we go. Okay, your your God Allah, your God, your God Allah, your God Allah. I can allow. Listen, I can allow. Uh huh. Say Muslim. Okay. Say Bukhari. All right. Mustadrak, Mustadrak li Hakim. Okay, okay. So, sound good. So now here we go. This is your prophet, and this is Daif Hadith. It says that. Daif, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who Daif Hadith? You showing me Daif Hadith? So. Show me Say and Hassan. At least Hassan. So only Sahih you accept? Hassan. Sahih or Hassan? Uh, so what I will do now? Where I'm going to find your Sahih Hadith? Sahih Hadith, show me, please. So are you saying to me, you Muslim, you keep lying, so we cannot find Allah, one authentic Allah, Hadith? No, Allah created horse. Okay, hold on. Allah, in the front of Allah me, in the front horse. of me, it Wait says, in the front of me, it says that your don't, your don't God. Your listen, Sahih. listen, listen. Your your God, Allah, He look like the Antichrist. Antichrist is Shaitan. Antichrist is shaitan. Yeah. Oh, the so God how Allah looked like shaitan. Read, okay. Your, okay. Read the hadith. Read, read the hadith in the front of you on the screen. Your, read, read, the, the, read the read the daif. Read the daif. Listen. Read read the daif hadith in the front of you on the screen. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. So you don't you don't hear me? Antichrist. Yeah. I am afraid. May you not. He shot an air into his deeply. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not. Uh, what, where is Allah mentioned? It says Allah, your Lord. He looked like the Antichrist. The only difference between them no, 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 is no, one no. eye. Allah. It's clearly in the Hadith that your God is not two eyes. It is one, He is one eye. Your, one your eye. God, Allah, is one eye? No, no. Your Antichrist is one eye. Okay. Allah, Allah how many eyes he have? Allah, how many eyes he have? Allah, have how many eyes? He have what? Does you say Allah have how many eyes? I'm asking you. You said that Jal he have one eye. I'm saying to you, how he many eyes eye. Allah have? And you and God has not two eyes. Has he God has is two? Everywhere. God is everywhere. God everywhere. God exactly. Let everywhere. me close God, my zipper. God listen, listen. God listen, listen, listen. Hey, read, read, read with me. Read with me. But hey, what are you talking minute. about? What are you talking hey, about? Hey, First hey. of all, that the Jal, that the Jal, he have two eyes. That the that the jal that the jal potato that the jal he have two eyes and you are stupid you do not know even how to read English not only Arabic you do not know even English it says in the front of you no he have two eyes no he have two eyes one of them one of them listen listen he says you he described his one eye and eye sightless which means there's one eye is damaged he have two eyes you stupid one of them is working the other one is not you're a donkey secondly your God Allah you, your God you Allah, He look exactly. You your God he Allah. Like okay, so let's listen, listen. It is not Isaac. Isn't it, it is your prophet? Isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it your prophet? Why he is worried? Why he is worried that you might think that the Dajjal is Allah? Why he is worried? Why he is worried? Yeah. Why you would think? He is worried because of the fitna of the jal. Okay, you but but why you would think he is Allah? You, 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 why you would think he is Allah? He is why you would think? Excuse, listen, listen. If Allah is not a man, and that the jal is a person who is a false man, but he is Satan in the same time, claiming to be the Messiah, correct? Wait a minute. Wait, claiming to the Messiah. Let okay. me let me let me let me repeat slowly. I know Muslims they are slow. So listen. The false messiah is the Dajjal. Dajjal in Arabic means the liar. So he is the messiah, the liar, yes. the antichrist. He will come as a man. Yes. And now your prophet, he is worried that you Muslim, you will think that he is Allah. He is your Lord. And he is saying to you the no, different. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, it wait says a that in the front of you in the that? Daif Hadith. Who will think that? Wait a minute. Who will think that? The Muslims. They, those who think. The Muslims. Everybody have crazy people. The Muslims. Everybody have crazy people. The Muslims. The Muslims. Wait a minute. Let me let me finish it. Everybody have 
crazy peoples. Isn't it? Crazy you people? The human. What? You worshipping the human. What? What? Listen, listen, don't, don't change topic. You worshipping the human. Yeah, we, went, we worship you your creator. The isn't, isn't it the Quran you says Jesus he created from the mud? Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus he created from the mud, the bird? So he's the creator. Don't change the topic, potato. So as you see, Allah look exactly like the shaitan. The only difference between shaitan, the only difference between shaitan and you, 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 you're a freaking God is one eye. One eye. The difference, guys. Shaitan, this is shaitan himself. Shaitan. So why he is worried? Why he describing the look so you will not be confused between him and Allah? He did not describe for you anything except how tall, how short, how his hair, how his eyes. He did not say to you, he did not say to you, Allah is not a man. He said to you, actually, this hadith confirmed that Allah is a man. Allah is not a man. So why, how you will be confused that he is? How wait you will, minute, how wait you minute, will wait think? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no. Wait a minute. I will, I'm waiting for ten room. hours. Listen. So how he will Allah, think? Why, why you refuse to answer? Why you refuse to answer? Human being. Okay, Allah. There is a hadith. It, many if, hadith. Many hadith. Is what? That the one, one hadith. He will not enter in Makkah and Medina. Who? The Jal. Will what? He will not going. To, he will not enter in Makkah and Medina. Who care? Many many prophecies are there. Who okay, cares? Who okay. cares? Okay, your prophet he says who that. Care? No, no, no. Your prophet he it's, said that Corona your... Corona will never enter the uh, Mecca and Medina, and Mecca and Medina was it's, closed, it's, and Mecca and Medina it's was hadith. conquered. It's in hadith, you troll. It's in hadith. Yes, it's a hadith. Yes, it's a hadith. It's not in Quran. Huh? It's in hadith. You are quoting hadith it's for me a hadith. second ago. A second ago you quoted hadith. So when you want, you quote the hadith. When you want, you don't want the hadith. Now don't change the topic. Why you are a prophet? He think that Muslim they will believe that the judge is Allah if he is just a man, and he is describing the only difference between them is one eye. Which, which you Muslim, see, which Muslim are the, there? Which 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 will Muslim all of you, be there? All of you, Muhammad is talking the, to the Muslims. The I'm not talking to the Muslims. We don't the, believe. The, we don't, we don't believe. Wait a minute. First of all, first of all. First of all, 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 okay. You keep saying first of all. We are like, we pass first of all. So you keep repeating first of all. You never have wait, second wait, of all. Wait, 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 so listen, wait, wait, can wait, we wait, jump wait, to second wait, of all? First. So why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet? He think, I don't care who is there. This is you. Here we go. As those, the one who is talking to is a Sahaba. Listen, no listen, Muslim. no, 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 no. We don't believe in Muhammad. We don't believe in Muhammad. We don't follow Muhammad and we don't read the hadith. We read it just to laugh. So when he's talking, he's talking to you and he's making a prophecy for he those who believe oh, he's a prophet. Can, wait a minute, so, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can say, hmm. you, I, I know your level of the knowledge. Hmm. You can, co you can say that Ibn Isaac is a prophet. A, a prophet's companion, sorry. Prophet's companion. No, he's not. Is he? You? Is he? No, no, no. Did, didn't you? You showing the <laughs> quotes of him and showing that uh, he is a companion. Of my the friend, prophet. my friend, I don't know any of the companion of Muhammad or what I know. They used to use rocks oh. to clean their anus, and they used to have a lot of flies, and they used to masturbate, and they used to masturbate, and they used to masturbate in the house of Aisha, and Aisha, she teach him how to how to scratch with their fingers the dry semen. All what I know about the Sahaba, the Sahaba, they used to go, the Sahaba, they used to go naked around the Kaaba, the Sahaba, they used to do muta, the Sahaba used to be covered by flies. The Sahaba, the Sahaba, the Sahaba, listen, 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 he cannot. Your human God he cannot. Is not from the death. Listen, the first okay. edition is of the Bible is Mark. It's okay. End. Okay. It's okay. So now you are How trying to change the topic. Was... Okay. Hold on. One, one by one. But what's wrong with you? This guy, he is desperate to change the topic. Listen. Okay. We will change. The, we will change the topic. You stupid. You stupid. Is it? Is it? Is it the? Is it the Quran? Is it? Don't escape, idiot. You damn potato. Potato. Son of Muta. Listen. Listen. Is it the Quran says that Jesus? Isn't it the Quran no, says? Isn't it the Quran says? Is it? Is it the Quran? Is it the don't, Quran? Okay, listen. The Quran says. I, 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 will, I, will, I will mute you for a second. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nobody will. Nobody will hear you. Nobody will hear you. You're stupid. You, yeah, nobody hear you by the way. I, I muted you. Just you're stupid. You stupid son of Muta. Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus here is right people from death? 
and you are saying to me Jesus cannot resurrect himself you dummy you donkey donkey and now Jesus is alive and your prophet is under my feet eaten by the cockroaches and mosquitoes and he is farting until the hadith says which means he is full of fart and this is coming from Ibn Abbas so the Messiah he is the one who can resurrect people from death in the Quran he is the one who can create from the mud the bird let us see the hadith. This is the Quran. So everybody will laugh at you. I will give you the mic. But because you keep talking like a machine, even, you know, like we say women, they talk a lot. I mean, you did beat all the women ever they, talk, they, 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 they call me. All Muslim women. They want to do muta with me. Listen, here we go. It says here, Mina Tini Taira. He keep talking, by the way. He didn't ever stop talking. So here, this is the, this is the Quran saying what Jesus can do. The Muslim, they claim that Allah gave him this power. But even if you claim that, that will not change the fact that Jesus, he can breathe into the mud and he can create a creature. And Jesus, nobody hear you, stupid. Um, I will give you the mic after I finish. I will finish. Listen, listen. Say, so, okay, you, you want to change topic? You are a coward. You are a coward. Just, just shut up, son of Muta. Coward. I just showed you that your God is a man and you run away. And you say to me, your God is not God because he cannot resurrect himself. So what is he now? Even you Muslim believe that he's alive. You are a coward. You will not let me talk. And you will not answer why your God, Muhammad, think that your God, Allah, is a man. And he have only one difference between the false Messiah and Allah. This hadith, in order to be accurate, you have to compare between the false messiah and the true messiah. So when Muhammad, he says the difference between the false messiah and your Lord, he confess that the messiah is your Lord because this person is coming to claim to be the messiah. This is why his name is Al-Masih Dajjal. The Antichrist translation is false. His name is Al-Masih Dajjal. Translation is absolutely false. So don't change the topic. Answer, please. I will give you the mic. If you, if you want to act like a, if you want to act, if you want to act like a kid, listen. If if you want to act like a kid, listen. Listen. Let us make an agreement. Let's make an agreement. Let's, let us make. Let us make an adult agreement. I said two. I said two. Listen. Listen. Can we can we make an agreement like? Can we make agreement like adult or you are just a kid? You want to change topic in the speed of light. Finish topic. No, 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 we go. No, finish this topic. Wait we can go. Finish. Okay. Finish. Wait, finish wait, this topic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a okay. Finish this just topic. Wait a I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Finish wait this topic. Minute, wait a minute. Just. Don't change the topic wait. like a kid. You finish you, it. Don't force me to hang be, up on you. you don't. Be, don't force me to hang up on you. Potato. Potato. Why Allah? Why Muhammad think Allah look like the false false Jesus? Why he think Allah? He will be worshipped falsely by worshipping a false man who he claimed to be the Messiah. He is not a claiming to be Allah. He is a claiming to be the Messiah. Yet your prophet is afraid that the Muslim will be confused between him and Allah. You can be confused between a twin because they look exactly the same. But you cannot even confuse between two people who look different, even if they are human. But your prophet, he is so worried that you Muslim are going to be confused thinking that the false Messiah is Allah. So if Allah is not a man, why Muhammad saying so? Go ahead. Go ahead. Now it's my turn. Okay. Will you not interrupt me? You promise. You don't change the topic. No, no, I will not change the topic. Okay, go First ahead. First of all, go ahead. Prophet Muhammad not only say, not only say to the Muslim, worried about the Muslims. The, he is also said that the 70,000 Jews of Ishpan will be with him. I mean, I mean the Antichrist. Secondly, then you say that Allah and uh, the Dajjal is not evil. He is uh, not the same. Yet you, my Prophet Muhammad, is worried. Okay? Does you say? What is the answer? Is, are you done? Hello. Yes. Wait, okay. Wait. Just to show first you how stupid you are, first, you just said seventy thousand from no, Asfahan. No, no, no. Asfahan does not have seventy thousand. You stupid. There is no seventy thousand in Asfahan. Secondly, because I, I told you are you done. I told you are you done. You said yeah. Is this you can debate? Okay. Listen. Are you done? Are you done or not? I am asking you. What? Who care about seventy thousand Jews? Chapter three, verse seven. Do you follow this strongly? 
Do you follow this strongly? Listen, listen. Yeah, I follow wait Jesus. Minute, wait a minute. You don't follow Muhammad. If you follow Muhammad, you should have lies. I mean, I mean, you should have sex I mean, with the children. You should I clean your anus. So listen. Wait a minute. Okay. So that. why? Listen, I, no, listen, I, I want listen, one listen, answer. Listen, one listen, answer. Don't tell me about the Jews now. Don't tell me about the Jews. Tell me my why you think, why he is worrying that you will be confused you about... Let me talk to you. I will let, I, I will let you. Wait, wait. But focus would be in the question. Why he think that you will be confused about the look? That's my question. Don't tell me about the Jews, about Asfahan, about anything. Why uh, he think minute, you will be confused minute, by his look? Go ahead. Who, who, will, who will going to be confused? You. Who will confuse? You. Who will going to be confused? You. The Muslim who will be stead, who will in the steadfast will not going to confuse it. So why he's saying? So why he's saying? If Second. you are confused about him, majority of Muslims will be. Huh? Will be so a second ago, it was not Muslim. Now, it, now the majority of Muslims will be confused. Okay, so it is said to Abdullah ibn Masood, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Listen, listen, listen. Abdullah ibn Masood. It is the hadith. <laughs> listen, listen, you can listen, listen, watch. listen, listen. You, you are the I want the answer. I want the answer. You are struggling. Oh, you just say. You're scholar. La 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 la. You're scholar. La 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 la. Scholar. Wait a minute. Jacob, man. Wait a minute. Jacob, man. Idiot. You want to take this customer? First of all, I'm saying. I, I have. I, I, I don't have more patience for hummus. Uh, let us see. We have another you Muslim. Patient. Hold you on. Patient. We have Wait another Muslim. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. 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 Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes, of course, I'm a Muslim. All right. What do you think about the look of Allah? He looked the same as the false Messiah. I can't hear you. What do you mean you can't hear um, me? What do you see? It says that your prophet, he said, that the false messiah look the same exact like Allah. The only difference between them is one eye. False messiah look like Allah? Yeah. I'm showing the hate in the screen in front of you. I I, I don't have opportunity to look at the screen. Why you don't? You are not watching, you, you are, you are not watching YouTube? I'm not watching YouTube. Okay. I'm I'll, only using... Okay. I'm using my phone to call you. You can you can still see YouTube when you are talking to me. Just mute YouTube so you don't have two sounds. So listen, it says the prophet says, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, which means is the false the, the false messiah. That okay, I'm afraid okay. that I'm afraid that you might understand the Antichrist is short, hinted, really heard, and one eye and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. So what the difference between Allah look and this man? One eye. Mm, the difference is that Allah has never been seen. Never, so never what? Can, uh, never what? Allah can't be Never what? Well, uh, be sure. I don't understand what? Allah can't be described. So how he can be described but the Muslim they will be confused about him. And how he can be described and your Muslim describe him with ninety nine names. Yet he can't be described. How he can be yeah, described okay. and you are describing him. There's tons of video describing Allah. And you Muslim you keep saying to me, you can't describe him. Isn't it your prophet saying this? He look exactly he just told us how tall he is. He said he is fat, he is woolly haired. And one eye, sorry, he's have two eyes. Then Shaitan have two uh, two eyes. Uh, one of them is eyesightless, and he is nor deep seated. Uh, but if you are confused about him, so he look exactly like the false Messiah. But the false Messiah is a person who is obviously Shaitan in the form of a man coming to tell the people that he is the true Messiah. So your prophet is afraid that you, Muhammadan, you are going to start following the false Messiah thinking that he is your God, Allah. Why? Because he is so bad like Allah. He's a false messiah anyway. So Muslims, Muhammad is giving them a sign. How to know that this is not Allah? He told them he have one eye. This eye is damaged. He have two eyes, one of them working. The other eye is not working. So when the false messiah come to you, he will look like this. So don't be confused between him and Allah because there's only one eye different between how Allah look like and how the Messiah look like. So you Muslim keep saying that Allah is not a man. Well, Allah now he look like a shaitan because the false Messiah is shaitan himself. Go ahead. All right. Um, let me go back to what I just said. The difference between 
what you are saying about the uh, about Dajjal and Allah is that you can't describe Allah. So no eyes have ever been seen, have ever seen Allah. So you cannot describe Allah. Why comparing Dajjal with Allah is uh, absolutely ridiculous to me. Okay, but I'm not the one who described him, my friend. It's your prophet. Your prophet, he said, he is short, he is hinted, he is woolly haired, he have two eyes, and he is nor, uh, nor protruding or nor deep seated. So now we know even the size of his butt. So he is saying, don't be confused between him and the false messiah. You keep saying to me, we can't describe Allah. We can't describe Allah. What your prophet, he described him. And your, the previous one, the idiot, he claimed that he claimed to be a sheikh. And this is Sahih Hadith, as you see. This is very authentic hadith. So you Muslims, you believe in a God, you do not know even who is he. Who is Allah, do you know? That's what I'm telling you. I keep on telling you the difference between Allah is that you cannot describe Allah. Okay, but so, do you know who is Allah? Do you know who is Allah? Guys, he cannot describe Allah. So how you know Allah, but you do not know Allah? You just told me from your statement, you know nothing about Allah. Is that correct? I know the attributes of Allah. What do you know about Allah? Okay, like what? Give me one attribute about Allah. Like what? Attribute. I know. Like what? Our like man, like our, what? Like what? Like what? Our, uh, huh? I know that is a man. He's I what? Know that is our, He's I what? I know that Allah is visible. I, I know that Allah is mighty. I know that Allah is powerful. Okay. I know that Allah is, Allah is powerful. Hold on, hold on. If Allah is powerful, how come He threat the Christians? If you don't believe, I will, uh, I will make your eyes in the back of your head. And I will the like I will erase your uh, your eyebrows, I will erase your mouth. I will make it backward, forward. How come he made a threat and he could not do it if he is Almighty? Here we go. This is your God, Allah, saying in chapter four, verse number forty-seven, Christians and Jews. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I will do the same to you as I did to the Jews, those who broke the Sabbath. What he did supposedly. Look at them. He said, uh, uh, like. All you people of the book believe in what we have now revealed, confirming what is already with you. So the Quran confirming the Bible and the Muslim, they lie. They say the Bible changed, but the Quran says the opposite. And then he said, before we change the faces and fame the sum of you beyond all recognition and turn them handwards, of course, them as we cursed with the people of the Sabbath. Uh, if you don't like this translation, we can change it. So Allah, he threatened, if you don't believe in Muhammad, he Christian and Jews, believe now, otherwise, I'm going, you wake up in the morning, you will find yourself, your, your eyes is in the backward, and they are blind, and your mouth is in the backward, and it is shut, you know, like with stitches, and we will erase all the details of your face. Do your God did any to that, of that to any Christian? Okay. What well, okay? Yeah, if I don't, I th I think uh, we have to be specific. We have to be, uh, we have to base on a particular topic or, or subject. So we are keep on, we keep on moving around. Then, no, no, uh, no, we are not. You said to me, Allah is Almighty. I said to you, give me one description. You said He's mighty. Well, the one mighty. If I say to you, uh, uh, you know, believe or I will do this to you, and then I could not do it. That's mean I'm not mighty. Very simple. Mighty, He do what He He promised to do. Your God, Allah, cannot be mighty. Your God, Allah, He promised the Muslim victory when they go to fight the Roman. They came back, back you know, and, 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 their, and their tail behind, between their legs. And your prophet, as an example, in the Quran, in chapter of Anfal, he said 100, Allah told him, 100 of you can fight 1,000 men. One Muslim man can fight 10. You Muslims, all of you are really heroes. So they went to war, they got beaten, and they spanked, and they came back. So now what Muhammad he did, he told them, okay, hold on, hold on. Allah just told me, now he found that you have a weakness on you. So he lightened your task. So in the verse 65, chapter 8, it was uh, 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 1 to 10. In verse number 66, it become 1 to 2. So if Allah is almighty and he promised me victory, even if there are a million in front of me, I will win. Even if I'm alone. Because God is with me, but your God could not even make the Muslim win. And now he changed even he changed numbers. Listen, he didn't he didn't change anything. He changed only numbers. So what is uh 
basically the topic we are talking about tonight. We are talking about your God is an idiot. He can't be true. He can't be exist. Are you an idiot? Huh? Are you saying I'm an idiot? No, I'm not saying you're an idiot. I'm saying you're God, you're God. You are saying my God is what? Is idiot. If you are saying my God is idiot. Okay. Do you do you think it's right to say if I kill a black man, my punishment is to kill my black slave? Is that correct? Do you agree with that? I want you to be specific. Let's choose it. I'm being specific. You see, I think you are an African, aren't you, my friend? Yes. All right. If you have to talk about do you agree? Do you agree with the punishment that if a white man killed a black man? The punishment for the white man is to kill his black slave. Do you agree with that? No. Huh? Calm down. Calm, calm down. I'm not. Calm calm, down. My, I'm not okay. screaming, my friend. I'm asking you. Do you agree with that? This is Quran, chapter two, yes. chapter of the Hindu, the cow chapter, verse one seventy-eight. Read it. Read it. My friend. My friend. Why? Why are you are upset? Why are you are upset? Calm down. What? Calm down. I'm asking you. Do you agree that if somebody, a white man, he killed a black man, a black slave, at that time they are slaves. So when Muhammad, he is talking about and his God saying, if a white man, he killed a free man, white man, the white man will be killed. But if a white man killed a slave, black, he will not be killed, we kill his slave. Do you agree with that? Why can't you let us have agreements based on what you have to talk about? Why you don't want to answer? I want us to make agreement. How many times? So how many times? I repeated the question for you. Do you agree that if a white man killed a black man, the penalty is to kill another black man? Is that is that a fair for you? Moving from one piece to another, you are not specific. I'm asking you a question. Why I need to repeat it one thousand times? Are you ashamed of your religion as an African man? You are not letting me talk now. Why? No, you are. I keep asking you the same question. You refuse to answer. Here we go. Go ahead. The microphone is yours. Are you? Will you give me time to answer you? I will give you 10 hours. Go ahead. I'm listening. All right. So the first, uh, first of all, you were talking about um, Allah turning the face of the, the Christians and the Jews. When you read at the when you, when you read the first, the first is basically basically talking about the day of judgment, the day of recompense. It's not talking about on earth how he's going to deal with them on earth. He's going. He's talking about how he's going to deal, deal with them on the day of judgment. Okay, can I answer about what you just said? Is that okay? And exactly how it's going to okay, be. Okay, just I, can I answer you? So, just to show you that you are giving me a false answer. He said the same as we did to the one who broke the Sabbath. The one who broke the Sabbath, he did not wait until Judgment Day. Those, he made the monkeys already. So if you live in Africa, and if you see some monkeys in the jungle, according to your stupid Quran, those are a bunch of Jews who broke the Sabbath. Nice to meet you, monkey. This is what Allah is saying. So Allah, he did not say this is in the Judgment Day. You are making things up now. He is saying the same as we did to the people of the Sabbath, people of the Sabbath, the Quran says, they did fishing on Saturday because Allah, he made the fish hide all the week. They wake up in the morning, they found themselves monkeys. He did not do it in the judgment day. Already he did that. So why you are giving me a false answer to escape the humility? Go ahead. So, so um, what, what chapter and verse are you? Pushing? So you are giving me the answer. You do not even know what chapter I'm reading from. Let's look at the chapter and verse. Chapter 4, verse number 47. Chapter 4, chapter 4, verse number 47. Yeah. All right. Do you know the, the Skype of Sheikh Uthman? You can call him. He can join us. He can help you. He's a real Sheikh. Actually, I don't need Sheikh Uthman. Well, you have ketchup. He can change the verses. He can cover them by ketchup so we will not see the funny words. Go ahead, read it. Okay, I'm coming.
Okay. Um, the verse saying, Ya are your lady now, Ya are your lady now, Utsu Kitabe. I mean, be man, Nazana must for Dick on Lima Maracum in Cobbly, and not miss a wood you hand, but no wood daha either at the barrier. Oh, Nalana whom came and Lina as a habit sapti, what kind of amour will let him for all that. Okay, now that Arabic, okay, it's Arabic, okay. I can see, I can see the. I can see the verse very clearly now. Mm. Now it's saying, "Are you lady now, man? There are you lady now also, Kita. Those who are giving the scripture, believe. Dima anazana. My friend, don't don't uh, don't try to read Arabic. You don't know Arabic, so come on. Just give me give me the translation. So believe in what we are sent down. Also, dik only me ma akum in kubli and not miss a wujuh hand before we change. Your eyes, mm -hmm. uh, before we turn your your face, mm -hmm. your um, before we turn your face to your back, mm -hmm. towards your backs. Mm -hmm. Of course, then this is trying to say mm -hmm. this. This is, this is not a direct uh, direct word. It is just uh, what can I call it? It is like speaking in parable. But when you look at the part saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, are you saying to me that Allah is making false threat? He's talking in parable. How is going to? This is not parable. The, the people of Sabbath, he made the monkeys for real. Are you a kid? He did not make them. This is not a curse of parable. Yeah. He is saying the yeah. same as we did to the people who broke the Sabbath. What Allah he did to those who broke the Sabbath? Can you tell me? CP, CP, wait. What he this did? Place, what he did to he the did. people who broke the Sabbath? What he did? Calm down, calm down. What he did? What he this did? Place, Why each time I talk to a Muslim, he said to me, "Calm down," and they are the one is angry. So I'm asking you, what Allah he did to those who broke the Sabbath? Did he make the monkeys? Yes or no? Let me talk. Let me talk. Did he make the monkey? Did he make the monkeys? Yes or no? We can continue. Don't put what is in what is not in Quran. No, no. Eat. I'm asking you. You say yes. You say no. It's up to you. Did he make the monkeys? Yes or no? Where's the monkey in the verse? You don't want me to talk. No, no. I'm not talking about. The, listen. Did Allah when He cursed the Jews? Did He make the monkeys? Yes or no? Where the verse you just quoted? Where's the monkey? I'm asking you, just, okay, just say yes or say no. Don't tell me okay. if there is okay. So say to me, no, it doesn't say that. This is a lie. Just say it. Show me the monkey. I'm asking you, the when the people of the, the Jews, when they broke the Sabbath, did Allah make the monkeys? Yes or no? The monkey in the verse. I'm asking you, did he make the monkeys? Yes or no? The Jews who broke the Sabbath, did he make the monkeys? Yes or no? Show me the monkey in the verse. Give me the answer, yes or no? Did Allah make the people of the Jews who broke the Sabbath monkey? Yes or no? Why can't you answer me? Where is Why the you cannot give verse? me either yes or no? Are you scared? Where is the monkey in the verse? Just show the, me the only monkey, monkey the is you, because you refuse to answer as a man. I'm speaking to you as an adult. And look at you. You are jumping like a monkey from a place to place. I'm asking you for the last time. When Allah cursed the Jews for breaking the Sabbath, is it true that He made them monkeys? Yes or no? Are you true? Are you done? Uh, so yes or no? Them. Yes or no? Let me speak. Yes or no? Will you let me speak. I'm letting you speak. I want yes or no, and then you can continue. Go ahead. Yes or no? Let me speak. Yes or no? Don't want me to hang up on you. Why we cannot find one adult mature Muslims? All of them, they are like Aisha, six years old, and their mother, she is giving them some cucumber to make them fat, which is very weird. So are you going to give me the answer? Did Allah, is it true that according to your religion, when the Jews, they break the Sabbath, Allah made them monkeys? Yes or no? Insecure. Why are you feeling insecure? Yes or no? You are the one is insecure. That's why you don't dare to answer me. Oh, no, Lord. Bro. Then answer me. Prove to me that you are secure. Oh, yes or no? no, no, no yes Lord. or yes or no? Yes or no? I allowed you to speak. Will you let me speak? What do you mean allow me? Because this is my program. You stupid. You allow me to speak. This is my program. I can hang up on you. You're a dummy now. So listen. Yes or no? 
Did Allah made the Jews monkeys for breaking the Sabbath? Yes or no? Go ahead. Christian Pingu. Ah, so sorry, Christian Pingu. Ah, sorry, Christian Pingu. Listen, show me the monkey verse. Show you the monkey in the verse. I'm asking you about the Jews now. Show me the did monkey. Allah made the them, did, did Allah make them monkeys? Yes or no? You are pissing me off already. We are talking about chapter 4, verse 47. Show me the monkey in the verse. So there is no monkeys in the verse? There's no monkey in the verse. Why did so you what? Lie that Allah, he will say to the, he said he would do to them the same as he did to the Jews. What he did? Did you lie that there is monkey in the verse? Did the he, verse he, said, he said he will do the same as we did to the Jews. What he did to the Jews? He said he caused, he caused them, he caused the Jews. He caused them he to caused do, to be what? He caused them what? What happened? Yeah, what he, what he caused them to be, what he caused them. He caused them. Yeah, to do, to what, to be what? Them. They are listening. Listen, the people of the, the, the Sabbath, they are listening to you. He caused them to be what? We are waiting. Read the verse and talk about I'm the asking verse. you, he caused them to do what? To be what? Allah, he yeah, said, man. I will cause you to be the same as the people of the, the, the Jews who broke the Sabbath. So what Allah he did to those who broke the Sabbath? We are listening. The Jews, the Jews are listening. Lying to your teach, he, he did not say he made the Jew and the Christian the way I liked how they did, uh, he did with the people of the Sabbath. What he's saying that he turned their face, facing their backward. Are you going to answer what Allah he did to the Jews? He said we the same we did to the Jews. What Allah he did to the Jews? Is it true? He listen, the monkeys are waiting for the answer. Is it true that Allah he made the Jews who broke the Sabbath monkeys? Yes or no? Said he will cause him. Let huh? me now show you how Allah caused him. What, what is it called? Causing what causing? But Sikola, what is that? I'm asking you the question what Allah he did to the Jews. When they broke the that Sabbath, give me the answer. What Allah he did to the Jews when they broke the Sabbath? Give me the answer. Come on. Let me show you how Allah caused you guys. Listen, listen. What Allah did to the Jews? Why are you going to answer? I mean, what the problem? Is it a secret? There's no way in the verse saying what Allah did to so, the people. Of okay, Sabbath. say to me you are wrong. Say to me you are wrong. You are lying. Or say to me yes, Allah he made the Jews monkeys because they broke the Sabbath. So are you willing to say? Yes, or you are willing to say no? Allah did not do that. Just say it. He said, the verse is saying Allah we I'm asking you what Allah he did to the Jews who broke the Sabbath. The verse is speaking about, if you don't believe, I will do to you the same as I did to the ones who broke the Sabbath. What he did to them? What Allah he did to those who broke the Sabbath? Is it true? He made them monkeys, yes or no? Mr. Christian Prince, let me show you how Allah caused you guys. So are you going should to answer I, or not? Should I show you how Allah calls you guys? I'm going to I'm going to uh, like uh, wait for you and uh, repeat the question one million time. Even the monkeys are waiting for you. So did Allah make the Jews monkeys for breaking the Sabbath? Yes or no? Talk about the verse. I'm talking about the verse too. Okay, from the verse, show me the. I'm monkey. asking you. you give see? me the answer. What Allah he did. Okay, you just you are just a just a stupid kid. Listen, watch yourself in YouTube. Watch, watch, watch. So people will laugh at you. Here we go. This is the stupid Quran. This is the yellow pages of Muhammad. What Allah he did to the Jews? Allah when they break the Sabbath, and the story is very funny. Allah he make the fish appear only in Saturday and disappear in the Sabbath. Sorry, and appear in the Sabbath. Disappear all the week. Bunch of kids, man. Are you going to answer or not? You are using in our language, we used to say you use Jack Pasta. You are running away. <laughs> 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 so, did Allah make the Jews monkeys if when they broke the Sabbath? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, read. Read are, Quran, are you are you are you going to answer? Or I got your busted in front of everybody. Did Allah make the Jews who broke the Sabbath? Monkeys and pigs, not only monkeys. Yes or no? You, you, you brought 47. You brought I'm asking you, did Allah make them? Why you don't want to answer? What's wrong 46. with you? 46. What? 46. Why you don't want to answer? Why you don't want to answer? Is it true that your stupid God, Quran, 
claiming that the Jews they broke the Sabbath and Allah made the monkeys and pigs, yes or no? 46. I am asking you, huh? be a man. Give me the answer. What Allah he did to the Jews. Let me take Walid. Walid is smarter than you. You are just big donkey. Walid is a smaller donkey. Hey, Walid, how are you doing? Hello. So, Walid, did Allah made the Jews monkeys because they break the Sabbath? Yes, indeed, yes. So why your why your brother why minute. your brother did not accept that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. First, let me tell you something. Okay, tell me something. Tell me so, something. Uh huh. What is the ten commandment of God? Uh, which is the what the ten commandment? Do you know? Do you know them? Do you know them? Yes. Okay. In so world, so so why we don't have in, the ten commandment? The, why we don't the, have? Why we don't the have? In the, why in we the don't? Commandments, uh -huh. In the command. Wait a minute. Don't, okay. Don't jump like a monkey in front of us. We know, Let us see who's the monkey. The a monkey. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see who's the monkey. Uh, according to Quran, it's you, monkey. You Muslim, you jump from a female to a female. You do muta. We Christian, we don't do that. This is monkey behavior. Whoa, 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 whoa. This wait is the minute. zoo behavior. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, don't don't change topic. Don't change topic. So did Allah? So Allah. Oh boy. <laughs> Listen, so Allah, he made the Jews monkeys because they break the Sabbath. Why Allah don't make, Indeed. why Allah don't make the Jews monkeys today for breaking the Sabbath? Go ahead. Today. Yeah, no. yeah, today, why not? What happened? Allah is out of, you, uh, Allah battery you, is off. You know, Allah, you know, Allah, you know, hold on, hold on, Moses, hold on, your friend, your friend is calling me. Hey, Abdul, how are you? Listen, so do you see your God Allah? He made the Jews monkeys because they broke the Sabbath. So when he said to them, if you don't, if you don't believe in Islam, I will make you the same as the Jews, the same as I did to the Jews. He did not wait until the judgment day. He did it in the past immediately. So and this is a false story. Do you really believe that your God, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys because they broke the Sabbath? Why are you having a monologue? Don't just do the talking. Because you never answer anything. I have to repeat myself 1,000 times. So do you really believe? So now so now you refuse to answer, and now I get you busted. This is Quran. Chapter 5, verse number 60, it says that Allah, He is the one who made the Jews pigs and monkeys, and this is why you Muslims are forbidden from eating pigs and monkeys, because they are Jews according to the Quran. Ingo, will you let me talk? You keep talking, complain about let me talk. I answered the question one million times, you never answer. So now do you agree that Allah, he made the Jews monkeys? Yes or no? Bob, you are lying. The verse is not saying Allah, we made the Jews monkeys. So what he made them, tell me. Shut up, you are lying. It's in the front of you, chapter 5, verse number 60. Monkey. Where in the first Allah say he made the Jew monkey? It says in the front of you, the Jews, he made them, he cursed them, he they made them monkeys and pigs, not only monkeys, monkeys and pigs. Did he say we turned them to monkey? Shut up, read the next verse. What is he saying? Read the That's stupid kid. You cannot find one intelligent Abdul. It's mission impossible. Mission impossible. And this is a stupid religion to the point they believe that somebody broke the Sabbath, the son, you know, stupid God, he made them monkeys. Why he don't make the homosexual monkeys? Which one is bigger for Allah? They have festivals. They have a flag everywhere. Where is your God? In the Bible it says about Sodom and Gomorrah, if there is only 10 people left in the city, they are not like them, but God will not destroy the city. Your God here is saying just because they broke the Sabbath, which is not what I mean, Sabbath. They did not fornicate. They did not kill. They are hungry. Actually, the story says that even Allah, he made the fish disappear all the week and appear to them only in Sabbath. Your God is a joke. Your God is a joke. How many gays and lesbians there are in the Middle East? How many Jews now in Israel? They break the Sabbath. In fact, even in Tel Aviv, they have one huge festival for homosexual in the Sabbath. Imagine. 
Where is your God, Allah? And the story in the Quran is one of the most funny, stupid stories. Because those people, they are not breaking the Sabbath, really. They are hungry. He made them suffer. There are people who live in the sea. Hey, by the way, which Jews, they live in an island in the sea, so they have only food as fish. That is a fishy story. It might be Cyprus, where Jassasa was located. So this is your God, a village in the middle of the sea. They transgress on the Sabbath, but Allah, he made the fish only appear to them on Saturday, and he made the whole week the fish disappear. And Allah, who he claimed to be the Almighty, and he did that for breaking Sabbath, how come he don't do that to me? I'm making fun of your God and your prophet every day. And how come Allah don't care for the Sabbath no more? As long as the Sabbath is so important to Allah. According to the story, Allah should make all the Muslim monkeys and pigs. Because they break the Sabbath. They disrespect the Sabbath. They make fun of the Sabbath. They spit at the Sabbath. So when a Muslim, he says to us that Allah is almighty, I say Allah is all idiot. Allah is a fool. Allah is nothing but a fairy story of Muhammad. Those stories, not even good for kids. Not even good for kids. And each time you talk to one of them, and they will not answer. This guy, Walid, whatever his name, Wajid, Wajid. Why your God, he looked like Muhammad? Did they know your God is a human? Your God, uh, human God, uh, you know, okay, my God is a human God. He came in a form of a human, but still his God, the Quran says, he can create from the mother bird. Why he can do that? Allah cannot do that. Can Allah do that? Prove it. Can Allah create from the mother bird? Prove it. As you see, look, Muhammad, he was sick. Muhammad, he suffered from diarrhea. Muhammad, he walked in the street. The shit is coming from his anus everywhere. He go to the pond, they put a diaper for him. Where was Allah? Muhammad don't remember his name. Muhammad, he wake up, who say, who am I? Where am I? The Messiah, he wiped his hand over the crowd and he made the crowd heal. I can show you the video of Mufti Mink. He just wiped, he, look, he waved his hand. There's like a thousand people in front of him. He waved his hand and everybody is in the, in the, in the present. He is healed. That is the Messiah. You're a prophet. He woke up, he fainted, he woke up, he fainted. And not only that, he is the same as a recording machine, a broken CD. Each time he wake up, he say the same thing. The Prophet of Allah, S-A-W, this is like a shortwave radio. And I can prove it, this shortwave video, you know, radio, because he kept repeating the same thing. He was sick, he fainted when he was sick. And then he woke up and he said, has the time for a prayer come? They said, yes, yes. He, he said, okay, tell Bilal uh, to call for the Adan and tell Abu Bakr to read the prayer, okay? And he fainted, Boing! he fainted again. And then he woke up again and he said, uh, has the time for the prayer come? Uh, he said, yeah, yes, yes. He said, okay, tell Bilal and the, the, the Adan and uh, tell uh, Bilal to read the prayer. And, and he fainted, Look, what the heck? I mean, the guy, he wake up like a chicken. He repeat the same words. And you can tell this guy is out of his mind. And how many times he wake up and fainted, and wake up and fainted, and wake up and fainted, and wake up and fainted? Are we going to spend the whole day? So the Muslim, when they call me, because they get fainted, they don't want me to ask the question. They keep changing topic like monkeys, and they will refuse to answer the question. Why your God, Allah, look like the Dajjal? It doesn't say that, see, P. It says if you are confused about him, if you are what? 
if you are confused about him, confused about what? Confused about how Allah look like. How Allah look like. Allah look exactly like shaitan. Not only he look like a man, the Muslim, they are confused about the shaitan and Allah. They look exactly the same. There's only one difference between them. It is the eye. If Allah is not a man anyway, so why you are comparing? Why do we be confused? How come we will be confused? If I see a man and I am a Muslim supposedly and I don't believe Allah is a man, so how I'm going to think he is Allah? Are you with me? This is why those kids, they will never let you talk. They will never answer the question. And they call to insult your human God. Well, my human God, he do what God does. Can your God do what Jesus do? Jesus, he gave the blind eyes, which means he created the eyes for him. The guy is born blind. Look what happened in the case of Muhammad. Muhammad, he have a blind companion. He is a poor man. He come to Muhammad. Muhammad made fun of him and he kicked him out of his house. Why Allah did not make the blind see so people will worship Allah? You have a chapter, all of it is about this blind man. When a blind man, he came to him, Muhammad, he gave him a face. Why? You read the interpretation, you will see that Muhammad was speaking to rich people of Quraysh. And when he saw the blind man coming, he was so upset. He said to himself, look, look, those people, rich people, they will say, look who's following him, a blind, poor man. You know, so he kicked him out. You see how evil he is? Did Jesus kick the blind man out because there is rich people around him? The blind say to the Lord, Lord, I want to see. He did not even ask for a sandwich. A blind man is a beggar. He is not. I mean, imagine I see a blind man and, you know, I say to him how I can help you. He said to me, I want to see. That would be funny because how I'm going to make you see. Maybe you ask me for a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. I give you a sandwich. But to see how I can do that. The blind man, he was not blind. His heart was able to see that this is the Messiah, this is the Lord, this is the Creator, the God of Muhammad, who will send Muhammad on all who follow him to hell fire and they will stay there for eternity. The blind man, he saw Jesus that he is God, but those fools cannot see him. So the blind man said to Jesus, Lord, I want to see. He didn't say, I want bread. He didn't say, I want food. He didn't say, I want shelter. He said, I want to see. And what Jesus did. Did he do the same as Muhammad? He made him see. That is the action of the human God. You call him a human God. How he is a human, but yet he can make the blind see. How he is just a human, but yet he can make the one who cannot walk, walk. How he is just a human, but he control nature. How even the Quran says he can tell you what you hide in your houses. I will give an example that Allah, he is not almighty and he is a fool. If you remember, when the Muslims, they accuse Muhammad that he stole an underwear. What he stole? Yes, an underwear. The prophet of the laundry. The prophet who is accused by his own followers that he stole an underwear, not by his enemies, his own followers. After they accuse him of stealing the underwear, and the Muslim, they say, the prophet, he did ghul, ghul, which means he is a thief. He stole it. Hmm. Do you know what Muhammad, God, he said? It's not for a prophet to steal. and We are proud of it. So where is the underwear? If Allah, he is God, he should tell us where is the underwear. And then now it's missing. And then now, if your God is God, you should say, okay, you know what? The one who took the underwear, his name is etc. Go to his house and, or no, go to him now, now, tell him to take off his pant. You will see it there. 
your God said it's not Muhammad there's one of two options either it was really Muhammad and obviously it is or Allah do not know who which means Muhammad do not know who for if Allah is God he should be able to tell us who is the one who took the end aware very simple it's not a big deal who took the underwear? It's not Muhammad. Who took the underwear? It's not Muhammad. Who took the underwear? Can you believe it? They do not know who took the underwear. Until now, we do not know who took the underwear. Allah, he received a message in his house saying, Tadadim, 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 Assalamu alaikum. Uh, who, who is this? My name is Zakir Naik, and I'm going to report a crime. What the heck? Zakir Naik, what a crime you are talking about? Prophet of Allah, be the accused that he stole an underwear. Zakir Naik, are you sure? The believers, they accused the Prophet that he stole an underwear? Exactly. Uh, do they have witnesses? Thanks to Allah, they didn't witness it. There's no witnesses. Okay, so don't worry. I'm going to make a verse and send it to Muhammad and it says it's not him, okay? Thank you very much, Allah. Who took the underwear? And what kind of Quran this Quran is? If the companion of Muhammad, they are accusing the Prophet that he is a thief. Imagine the companion of the Messiah accusing the Messiah that he stole an underwear. <laughs> what kind of a prophet, this prophet we are talking about? And what kind of companion? They are a bunch of gang thieves, pirates, scumbags. So when a Mohammedan he says, Allah is almighty, we die laughing. What is almighty about him? Nothing. Let us call this guy, maybe he can do better. The one who claimed to be a sheikh. I think he's looking for the underwear too. It doesn't mute the speaker so it doesn't annoy you. I mean, do you see how, you know, they claim Allah is God. Allah is what? Allah is God. Yet Allah, hey Wajid, why are you answering me, man? I'm calling you. Call me and tell me who, I, who was accusing your prophet of stealing underwear and why Allah do not know where it is. What a potato religion. Let us go to uh, Lili Dawa and continue our video. It was fun talking to those Abdul. Uh, yes, uh, Wajid, how are you? Did you find the underwear? Uh, hello. Did hello. you find? What do you think about what we said? Why do, where is the word is underwear in that was? I don't know. They are talking about what? Do you think it's not underwear? It no, was no, a bikini? No, 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 no. Where is the word? Where is the word underwear? I don't know. Uh, okay, I will, I will go with you. Will, wait, 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 okay, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if the word is not there, that's mean he is not talking about underwear? No. Okay. Not. Can you if find you, me the word Tawheed? You, in, you, can you find me the word Tawheed in the Quran? There's no Tawheed in the Quran, but you must keep no, saying no, no. Tawheed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tawhid, what is Tawhid? There's what no is the meaning of Wahad? Wahad, what is No, no, I'm asking you, there's a word Tawhid in the Quran. What is the meaning of Wahad? Okay, we will go, we go. So don't tell me it's not there. You, you know, you I can you go, know, I can go right you now. You are not Arabic. Yes. You are not Arabic. Tawhid. You accept it, you are not an Arabic. Okay, I'm, 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 an Arabic. okay, Mexican, Mexican. So now I'm asking you, who and what they are accusing your prophet that he has done? What they are saying here? What you're saying about what, they, what? what is the booty of the unfathed? 
And uh, uh, the booty, what is that? What, what, booty, what booty mean? What booty mean? What, 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 what is? No, there's no. Shake your booty? Way. Okay, shake what your booty. Go ahead. Okay. What, what is? What is? Okay, so what, the booty, the, the booty of Alan the they, they stole it. They stole, they stole, they stole the clothing. They stole the clothing. Okay. They, they, everything is beer. Okay. They, they stole the clothing. Okay. And then, and then now, they, how come they are accusing your prophet? So, first of all, so, first of all, so first why they are accused? Okay. First of all, first of all, wait, uh -huh. wait a minute, first of all. First of all. When did under, when you invented? Hmm? When did under, where invented? Well, I can show you from the interpretation. Do you, under, Do you want to read the interpretation? It's invention. a bit. It's a bit. It's, it, it, okay, here we go. So, so, you know, okay, 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 here we go. 3161. Okay, 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 just wait, wait, have patience. Okay, hold on. Okay, read one. Read, 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 read. In this, here we go. This is, this is Tafsir al Read it. Hmm. Read it. Go ahead. Are you in the Are you in the Are you Are you, are you, are you in the bathroom? Are you in the bathroom? Read it for me. Are you in the bathroom? Read it for me. What is that sound? Huh? Did Did I make you pee? It's raining. It's raining. What a liar you are! Yeah. What a liar! Okay, listen. So does it say that a red a piece of a clothing which is a bikini was missing? It is a scarf. It is a scarf. It's it what? Is a scarf that is missing. It, it is scarf. It is napkin. It's, you it, it is a napkin. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So are you saying to me? Are you, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, it says. So now you agree that your prophet was accused of stealing a napkin? No, no, it is not a napkin. You said that, not me. I'm not the one. Okay, you know what? Show me what the word napkin. Show me the word napkin. I want to see the word napkin. You lied to me. Where is the word napkin? I want to see the word napkin. I will do what you are doing. Listen, listen. Where is the word napkin? I want to see. I want to see the word napkin. I challenge you to show me. Show me the word. What is the word napkin? Why you are making things up, huh? Napkin. Where is the napkin? And why the Muslims accusing their prophet that he stole? Why you hang up? Why you hang up, napkin boy? Did you take a nap? Why you hang up? Hello? Why you hang up? Hello? Hello, hello. I don't hang up. I you don't you hang didn't up. hang up. Up. Okay. up. Okay. Maybe you stole a napkin oh, and you go. Minute, okay. Minute, so why the prophet was accused by the Muslim that he stole a napkin, as you say? He stole the This is what is the, the full top seal for the line. This stole napkin. He stole what? So are you saying to me that uh, the campaign of Allah, did, did, did they that? accuse no, their prophet, he, he they are fighting, not. okay, hold on, hold on, this is your word, accused, not my word. Accused, wait, so, wait a minute, accused, you said, you said the word accused, yes, isn't it? Yes, You said the word accused. Okay, do you agree? Jesus also accused for being devil worshiper. Okay, hold on. Jesus was Jesus accused. accused. Jesus was accused. So Jesus, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus, can, okay, Jesus is not accused of a theft, you stupid. Here, your prophet, his companion, those are the Muslims. Stupid, those, those are the Muslims, son of four. Listen, you're, you know, you're my stepson, by the way. When you, I was, when I was in your four. age, I used son to do, I used to marry, I used to marry a lot of Muslim women for muta, five hundred dollars. Guys, do you remember the guy who called me last time? What he said in the video, I will block you. You are very filthy. Coward, you don't dare to answer. So you admitted that the companion of Muhammad accused Muhammad that he stole a napkin. Look how trashy they are to the point they are fighting over a napkin according to him. Muhammad is a prophet and the Muslim they say that we know that the prophet was called a sadiq al amin the trustworthy how he is the trustworthy and the Muslims accuse him that he is a thief and he is stealing underwear you say it's a napkin maybe it was a bikini because a napkin is a bikini actually a bikini is a smaller than a, than a napkin if Muhammad is not a bad person to the point he is the first one to be accused, what kind of companion they are? Lili Da'wa, Mimi Hijab, and Rotates, they went with Muhammad to do pirate job. Lili Da'wa, he cannot fight. 
Mimi hijab, he take off his t-shirt. Uh, Andrew did, he, he hide behind his brother. And then when they got the booty, they came back and they found that the napkin is missing. And Tet, he said, who is the son of Beeb, took this uh, napkin. Mim Hijab, he said to the Andrew Tet, I swear by the tits of my mom, it's not me. Lili Hijab said, I swear by the tits of Mimi Hijab, it's not me. And Rotet, he said, if you don't tell me who is the one who took the napkin, I will suck your tits. This is religion. A piece of red clothing made Allah make a chapter about it? Allah, the one who created the seven galaxies and the 7-Eleven and uh, all the grocery stores and Walmart, he received a message to his office, urgent message from Andrew Tate, what? What? Andrew Tate, he just sent me Andrew, what? No way. I didn't know what he is saying to me. This guy, the Matrix is following him, so he cannot speak to me in normal language. Excuse me. I don't know what he is saying. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, we have a great news, guys. They are saying the Romanian police, they found that the, the napkin is not in the apartment of Andrew Tetz. It was between the legs of the hooker manager. She was using it for her period. Uh, no, I read the message wrong. Hold on, let me play it again. Oh, okay, this is the second message. He's saying, please don't change the topic. We were talking about how Mr. Lili Dawa, he converted to Islam because of the false miracle of the Quran. And later he found that those are false miracles and they are debunked. What a debunked prophet. So what happened again? Okay. So the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, no, I stayed because I grew in faith, and that's what Allah. He grew in faith. <laughs> it's stupid. You just said that you converted to Islam. About I mean, the guy is born of a Muslim family, and now he claimed that he converted to Islam. Listen, brother and sisters, I converted to Christianity. And, uh, you know, in Christianity, you can say that, actually, because in Christianity, we believe you have to be born again, right? But I will go with them. According to their prophet, everyone is born as a Muslim. And the one who make you not a Muslim is your parents. So are you saying your parents, they mislead you? What a shame. And anyway, anyway, so he found that Quran miracle is debunked. I mean, that is normal. Okay, what is next? I'll be honest with you. Be honest. And... Now we know that this whole scientific miracles was actually nonsense, not to in total. No way. You're trying to fix it. You cannot fix it. Already you admit it. And you know, guys, when the Muslim, they start giving him fingers in his uh, comment section, the Muslim says, shame on you, brother. May Allah curse you. What are you talking about? The Quran scientific miracle is true. Ask Dr. Zakir Naik. Dr. who? Zakir Naik. Do you know what Naik mean? Don't speak dirty, please. Naik mean the F word. But the sister, the brother and keep quoting. What is the proof that the Quran is from Allah? I answer you, brother. In chapter 13, verse number 13, it says the thunder is an angel. What? Chapter 13, verse number 13, it says the thunder is an angel? Exactly. But the thunder is not an angel. Exactly. So is that a science or a stupid? Exactly. Exactly. Are you listening? Give a breath. First of all, I don't listen to you. Hmm? Are you sure? I'm very sure. But you just said, respond to me. That's mean you are listening. Good friend, I answer only when I want. Okay. 
So how in the word the Quran says, chapter 13, verse number 13, that the thunder is an angel? And you Muslim, you keep saying that Allah is a God of saints. Explain to me, with and breath. First of all, the Quran said that the thunder is an angel. He didn't say the lightning. What the heck? What, what? He didn't say the lightning. He said the thunder. Ah, the thunder, not the lightning. So what is the lightning? Is it true that your prophet, he said, this is the fire belt which he beat the cloud, the cloud with it? Exactly. Is that what science says? Exactly. Science says that? Exactly. Uh, the Quran and Yuka? Exactly. So this guy, he admitted that the Quran is full of garbage and the Muslim, they get so upset and now he decided to take revenge. He want to show them that this is not a slip of a tongue. Because he make a lot of a slip. This is the same guy who said, uh, look what happened in the same video. The whole video is six, mate. You changed your t-shirt six times. I mean, I can't believe you, man. The video, all of it is 16, six minutes. So do you talk to a to minute, you sweat in your pants and you change your t-shirt? What the heck? What the heck is that? Podcast. And for one, I'm sat here. I'll quickly uh, touch up on this quickly because it's not really that important. So in the Andrew Tate video that I did, I mentioned that the scientific miracles in the Quran got debunked. And for some odd reason, funnily enough, like as if they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again very carefully. The scientific miracles argument in the Quran got debunked. Yeah? I hope my tajweed was on point. So when I said this, a lot of... Um, Islamophobes were celebrating as if I was like, oh my gosh, like this video is going to be me apologizing and no. Dude, we're not celebrating, we're laughing at you. Because you yourself, you said in your video that you were debating with somebody and you told him that in the Quran it says there is six, the atmosphere, the heaven says uh, there are seven skies. And you told the guy in the debate that there is, yes, the atmosphere is the seven skies. This is telling us that you are dumb, you are stupid, you are a monkey. Because all everyone knows that in the Quran, it doesn't speak about atmosphere. It's speaking about heavens, you donkey. Because the Quran says in the lowest heaven of this seven heaven, there is the stars. So is the stars located in the atmosphere? So what you just admitted, that you were lying all the time. And now the lie cannot be hidden no more. We can't cover it up. So it's time to wash our hand from it as if nothing happened. But guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. Mm -hmm. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed, but rather say you have submitted. Hypocrisy. They were Bedouin Arabs. And Allah says, because Iman hasn't entered your heart. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? It says, the Bedouins say, we have believed. Say, you have not yet believed, but rather say, we have submitted. For, for faith has not entered your hearts. If you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds of anything. So, which is very clear, meaning... So, listen, you do not need to believe in Islam. You need only to say Shahada. This is satanic cult. This is totally the opposite of the teaching of the God of the Gospel. The Messiah said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. If we can say the Lord, Lord is a shahada, you can say it if you want. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does his will. In Islam, you do not need to be a believer. Who cares if you are a believer or not? You surrender to the devil, Muhammad. That's all what is needed. Faith never enter your heart. So what entered their heart? Nothing. The sword of Muhammad was going to enter their anus if they did not convert. Faith hasn't come into your heart yet. So every Muslim is, every mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a mu'min. Mm. Did you hear it? Not every Muslim is a believer. They enter into Islam, they don't believe. So he's explained now to us why Andrew Tates, who is Andrew Tates? He is a Muslim, but he is not a believer. Remember, the whole video is about what? It's about Andrew Tate. 
if you believe in Allah or not. Do you understand? He's explaining why Andrew Tate, he say what he's saying. He is a Muslim, but he is not a believer. So do you see why we love those videos? Because if we say what we say, the Muslim, they will say you are lying. He's a true believer. This is your potato. From his mouth. Andrew Tate's is not a believer he's a Muslim in fact this guy himself is not a believer too how we prove it he just said that he said he converted to Islam because of the scientific miracle and now he discovered the scientific miracle is a lie so he did not believe in Islam he believed in something lie false it's not even Islam and his faith to grow in what in the lie because he admitted that he converted not because of something truthful, but because somebody lied to him. Tell us more, Abdul. A true, true, true believer in that sense. This comes with time, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this video. Because we know very clearly our brother Andrew Tate is a Muslim. Is he a Mu'min yet? No, not just yet. He just said, is he a believer? He said, no, he's not. Not yet. Guys, listen carefully. He said, "Is who wanna who wanna make this one a short video? Who wanna make this one a short video? And you will get millions of view." I was saying that Andrew Tate is a Muslim, but he is not a believer in Islam. He just said that in the minute eight point seven of his video. Lily Dawa, peace be upon her. She said, "Andrew Tate is a Muslim, but he is not a believer." It's not a Christian prince saying that. Is he a Muslim? Yes. Is he a believer? No. Listen to it again. True, true, true believer in that sense. This comes with time, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this video. Because we know very... Allah says, because Iman hasn't entered your heart. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? It says, the Bedouins say, we have believed. Say, you have not yet believed, but rather say, we have submitted. For, for faith has not entered your hearts. If you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds of anything. So, which is very clear, meaning faith hasn't come into your heart yet. So every Muslim is, every mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a mu'min. A true, true, true believer in that sense. You can make the video from the minute number eight, minute eight. If you want to make a video or a, a little bit before, if you want. This comes with time, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this video, because we know very clearly our brother Andrew Tate is a Muslim. Is he a Mu'min yet? No, not just yet. He'll be... <laughs> he said he's a Mu'min, you know, but he did not translate. In Arabic, Mu'min means a believer. Is he a Mu'min yet? Not yet. Not yet. This is a Russian word, yet. 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 Kadarov say hello to you yet. This is uh, sound like a Saidi language. Hassanian. And Tafsit ya Hassanin. Hassanin wa Muhammadian. Raihin tma. This is Jewel, man. This is Jewel. This guy, he is trying to defend Andrew Tits, but he broke his tits. <laughs> He hold him from his tits and he put him in the wire. Look, he is defending Andrew Tate's. But he just said that Andrew Tate's, swearing by the tits of Allah, that Andrew Tate's he converted to Islam, but he is not a believer. <laughs> I want to hear it again. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> the best comedy ever. This is the same guy who said, God cannot enter his... Uh, yeah, uh, add, add this to the video, uh, Sheikh. Uh, God cannot enter his, uh, his creation. And later, God cannot... God, God's, why God cannot be God? The Christian God cannot be God? Because God do not cannot enter his creation. Two days after, he made a video says, God enter his creation. What, 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 what? Faith hasn't come into your heart yet. So every Muslim 
is every mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a mu'min. A true, true, true believer in that sense. This comes with time, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this video, because we know very clearly our brother Andrew Tate is a Muslim. Is he a mu'min yet? No, not just yet. He okay, stop. We have a Muslim, let us see. Answer, Mr. Nasheed. Why you don't answer? I'm a Muslim and you decline, decline my call? What a brave man you are, man. Okay, we continue. You'll be working towards that. So this clearly shows us the following. But Allah also mentions in, the, in, in Surah Ahzab in the Quran, إِنَّ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمَاتِ وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ وَالْقَانِتِينَ وَالْقَانِتَاتِ And the verse goes on, and that they will have a great reward. وَالشَّخَاخِينَ وَالشَّخَاخَاتِ We need to understand we give him the benefit of doubt. He's still learning. And I highly, highly encourage him. And if Brother Tam Khan is watching this, which I'm sure he will be. Brother, he is busy. He have 75 women doing web camera. You are selling whatever you're selling in the start of every video. And uh, Nagla Seed, you know, with Mimi Hijab and condoms, you know. By the way, your business, condom business, can work perfectly with Andrew Tate's. I mean, this guy, he need. I mean, you can really support him. You don't want people to accuse him in the future that he spread the AIDS. Let us see, Abdul is calling. Uh, uh, I want to try to call him. Okay, let me block you, coward. He's playing games. I call him, he declined. Muta boy. All right. Call me and I will expose you. Sounds serious. This guy is a, this is a tough Muslim. Look, look, look. Call me and I will expose you. You are a liar. Oof, 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 oof. Even Lily, she opened her mouth because of this. Let me call you. Wow. Hello? Yes, my friend. You are a Muslim. You want to expose me? No, I, I have to say, uh, just hold on a second. Uh, I don't want to disturb the life. First of all, I'm a Christian. Praise to all. So why you said Praise call me and Jesus. I will. Why you said to because, me call me, I will expose you. Uh, I just wanted to ask you. Uh, a question just quickly i sorry sorry really i'm not trying to disturb your but life why right you now. say it why you claim why you said call me and i will expose you i just want to get your attention quickly but okay you got my attention i don't appreciate liars all right we go back okay. we will get your attention <laughs> i mean look even lily dawa he is not happy with that we are proud of that <laughs> anyway so now we understand that the Quran is a joke uh, a Christian Prince he have a million videos he have four books exposing the stupid Quran and the Muslim they did not dare even to debunk any in my book and now they admitted after for 13 years of my books is written that everything Christian Prince he said about the Quran is absolutely true. So why Lili Dawa she he, she believe in Islam? Why exactly she believe in Islam? I want to know. In the same video, in somewhere in the video, hold on, where it's in the video, he said why he believe in Islam or she believe in Islam. Where? 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 Hold on. He, he mentioned that he was debating somebody about uh, a scientific miracle in the Quran and he spoke about uh, the atmosphere. But anyway, you can watch the video by yourself. But the funny is, each Muslim, you ask him who is Allah, he give you a different answer. Nobody knows really who is Allah. Who is Allah? They don't know. Not a single Muslim, not only that, Lili Dawa, peace be upon her, Muslims in general, they are upset with Andrew Tate's because he don't have 
He think that God is just a concept. He don't believe really in Allah. He believe in a concept of God. I believe he believe in nothing because a person who work as a pimp and he teach people how to cheat, he is not a believer in anything except his penis and his pocket. But we find that the Quran Ayuka, he admitted too that the God of Islam and the God of the Hindu, they have the same concept. They have the same exact concept. Listen carefully. The first is the concept of God. Let us understand what is the concept of God in Hinduism. If you ask the common Hindu that how many gods does he believe in? Some may say three, some may say ten, some may say hundred, some may say thousand, while others may say thirty-three crores, three hundred and thirty million. But if you ask a learned Hindu who is well versed with the scriptures, he will tell you that the Hindus should believe and worship only one almighty God. But the common Hindu, he believes in a philosophy known as pantheism. The common Hindu says that everything is God. The tree is God, the sun is God, the moon is God, the human being is God, the snake is God. What we Muslims say, everything is God's. G-O-D -D with an apostrophe, yes. Everything Did you hear it? We Muslims believe everything is God's. Listen carefully. This is not me who said that. Don't tell me it doesn't say that, see me. Don't make for me 100 video respond to refute me. It doesn't say that, see me. Everything is God's. What the Muslim believe? Everything is God's. Listen carefully. Let me activate. Uh, oh, there's no uh, CC. <clears throat> I don't like CC anyway. We have enough of CC and Fifi and Mimi and all the lilies. So everything is God's? What the heck? The Muslim, the Hindus believe the snake is God, the tree is God, the cow is God. The Muslim believe that all those things are God's? That's deep. The mean being is God, the snake is God. What we Muslims say, everything is God's. G-O-D -D with an apostrophe, yes. Everything belongs to God. The tree belongs to God. The sun belongs to God. The moon belongs to God. The human being belongs to God. The snake belongs to God. So the major difference between the common Hindu... What about the pig? Does the pig belong to God? The second you say pig, they have a phobia. No, it doesn't belong to God. <laughs> Do your private part belong to God? And the common Muslim is... The common Hindu says, everything is God. We Muslims say, everything is God's. G-O-D with an apostrophe S. The major difference is only the apostrophe S. If we can solve this difference. If we can solve the difference. So the difference between them is what? It's just a philosophy. But if you think about it, he just compare his religion to a pagan religion, says we believe in the same God. This is just a pure pagan religion. And how the Muslim then they say that they are following the God of Abraham, if the Hindus and the Muslim, they have the same concept of gods. This is Hinduism. So it turned to be that the Hindu and the Muslim, they have the same concept. In fact, I believe strongly that Islam is nothing but a form of Hinduism mixed with some Christianity, some of Judaism, and some of Zaradisht, etc. And some of the stories of the Talmud. He put them all together in one book. They call it Islam. And this is why we will find that the Muslims, with no exception, believe that all creatures all us as a human, we are coming from India. Let me show you.
from amongst those. Now if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? He, was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. He came down in what is known as the indo pak subcontinent. Precisely Sri Lanka. Now I know why I like tea because my grand grand grandfather Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka. And here you need to ask yourself, why the Muslim believe and why Muhammad believe that their ancestors are Indian. If Adam is from India, that's mean the one who believe in that, he believe what? That he is Indian. Do we agree? Adam is an Indian. Adam, he is an Indian. He landed in Sri Lanka, specifically in Sri Lanka. And this is telling you many things. How many of you heard me before saying that the Arab, when we speak about the Arab, there's no ethnic, it's called Arab really. Arab is the name coming from the Arabian Peninsula, which is the desert. The desert peninsula, the word Arab is an Aramaic word, mean desert. It's not a name of an ethnic. There's no ethnic group called Arab, never exist. Never, never exist. I said many times that those Arab deserts, especially in Oman, you know, in uh, 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 Saudi Arabia, like this, those areas, those are coming from India. Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, they are Indian. Even Iraqi in the border of, you know, like the, in the south of Iraq. Why I say that? Just go and take a look. They look exactly like anyone from Pakistan, anyone from India. And now the Muslim themselves, Muhammad himself confirming that those Muslim themselves, the Bedouin, they believe that their grandfather is an Indian. He came to Mecca 40 times to do Hajj. Which means he never lived in Mecca. He lived in India. He go back. 40 times. Not to mention how stupid the story, because Adam was landed in Sri Lanka, but yet his wife landed where? In Jeddah, in Saudi Arabia. Precisely Sri Lanka. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. <laughs> if you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth. But it is. I'm not trying to imply anything. But I'm just saying it is so beautiful maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. Mm -hmm. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Listen, we are Muslim. We do not know anything for certain. We do not know where Allah for certain. We do not know how Allah look for certain. We do not know what Allah is made of, of for certain. We don't make. We don't know even what Muhammad said for certain. Uh, we do not know any, nothing for certain. But we can be certainly sure that Allah is God. Is Allah is God for sure? Is the Creator what He created? scientific miracle of the Quran which debunked about Hawa where did she come down where in Jidda where is Jidda where Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula in what we know today as Saudi Arabia you and see this is what I call it bad luck you are coming in the parachute from the sky your name is Adam your beloved wife is Eve where you landed Adam the idiot you landed in Sri Lanka. Where your wife, she landed, Egypt, Sri Lanka, Adam, in Jeddah. How in the world they met again? Any Muslim can tell us, please? 
Okay, listen, listen. I mean, the story of Prophet Muhammad must be true. So Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, he landed in Zerlanga. And Zerlanga is an island, which means Adam, he was so good in swimming. Then he just took off his, I mean, he's naked anyway. The guy, he jumped in the water. He want to go to Mecca. Hey, Adam, where are you going? I'm going to, and we are proud of it. What are you, are you talking like Lady uh, Dawa? Because I landed in Sri Lanka, I lost my voice, and I'm swimming in the ocean. I want to cross the sea. I want to go to Mecca. What the heck? Do you know there was direction? Allah will direct me, okay? So, Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka. How Adam, he found his way to Mecca, and there is no highway or a bridge? I will give you three options. Allah gave him a submarine. Allah gave him sub stupid Muslim. Allah, he gave him sub Quran to ride on it. Allah gave him the flying carpet of Suleiman, which is in the Quran. And then, brother, the lucky Adam, he's so lucky. I mean, so extremely lucky. Look, look, brother. Even the map cannot gather them together. Look how, how big the distance is. So, Adam, brother, landed here let me uh, hold on let me open uh, the software the software i bought it just for this purpose i told him this uh, software work for this purpose they said what purpose i said to get the muslim busted the zarbas barbar akbar for the purpose of barbar akbar so this is Sri lanka where the prophet Adam he landed, and there is where this is where his wife. Very close. You knew what you gonna When Adam he landed in Sri Lanka, the first thing just imagine yourself, put yourself in his shoes. You are Adam now. And you just landed in the ground. And now you waited one hour. Two hours, three hours, 24 hours, and your wife should not show up. And then you start asking yourself, maybe she met somebody else? Adam, what are you talking about? There's nobody except you and her in this earth. Oh, yeah. So she went where? Adam, think about it. I'm not sure. And the poor Adam was thinking. And all kind of thoughts, they come to his head. Maybe she died. Maybe she is not dead. Maybe she met Andrew Tits and she is doing web camera business now. And a lot of albums like me watching her private part. Maybe, maybe. Where are you, honey? Where are you? I cannot believe it. Allah did that to me. I mean, Muslim, why Allah is so evil? The guy landed in Sri Lanka. The wife, she landed in Jeddah. How in the world they met again? If there is any Muslim can give us a solution. I'm serious. I mean, as you see, there's the what? There's that the, a few thousand kilometers between them, and there's an ocean between them, ocean, literally an ocean. How they met again? Should we call Detective Columbus? Detective Columbus, he will come to Adam. He will say to him one more question, please. Where have you been between six and eight? I was in Sri Lanka. What you, where have you been between eight and nine? In Sri Lanka. Where have you been between nine and ten? In Sri Lanka. What about between nine and eleven? Sri Lanka. Okay. What about where have you been between eleven and twelve? Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And Columbus is writing the information down. Then he is like a give up because there is no fingerprint. There's nothing. He found only actually footprint. 
I don't know if you know. This is a true story, by the way. You see, when uh, this man, he, uh, Mufti Mink, he mentioned the, uh, the uh, what is called, the peak of Adam, something like that. The Muslim brother, they found the footprint of a prophet Adam in that mountain. Yes, brother. If you don't believe me, watch it, watch it. The Muslim, they say, look, Islamic landmark, they hide anything. This is for the Buddhists. The Muslim, they want to hijack it. They created a lie that this is where Adam landed and now they want to hijack it. The first time I learned about this, I was speaking to a Muslim sheikh. He said to me, I can prove it to you. I said, what? You will prove to me what? I mentioned to him that his prophet says this about Adam landing in Sri Lanka. So he, he posted this uh, picture and he showed that this is a proof that Adam, he landed there. And my first question was, why there's only one footprint of Adam? Did he lose the second foot in Taliban war? I mean, you Muslims are weird. So Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka and he left only one footprint. He was the Congo. Do you Muslim believe in evolution? Like at first man, he came with one foot. Then by time he evoluted second foot. And maybe a million years from now, we will have a three foot. This is the foot of Adam, peace be upon him. That's so deep.